with the name Kokoi Villamin. Sino po si Kokoi Villamin? Ganun pa rin, ma'am. Di ko po siya kilala. Secretariat, please flash again the AR. Mr. Chair. Madam Vice President. Thank you, sir. Um, Ms. Acosta has been crying for the since this um, hearings started because of her um, fear and a lot of other things. Can we just give her some air? One minute uh, suspension is declared by the chair. Komsek magpatawag ka nga ng ano ng medical. Okay na po kayo, Mama Costa? Okay na po, sir. Okay Salamat na. po sa rest. Mr. Chair, may I seek guidance from the chair? Yes, Congressman. Yes, ay, ma'am, ay, sir, wala pa pong ano tayo. Hindi pa po, po tayo nag-arisyo. Nag Yung medic. Asan ni medic? Hearing resumes. Congressman Margoleta, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I know that our rules uh, procedure in aid of legislation includes supplementarily the use of the rules of court. Under the rules of court, Your Honor, which are the rules being used in the courts of law, hypothetical questions are not allowed to be asked. Are we supposed to insist on asking hypothetical questions? Could you please be specific, uh, Congressman Margoleta? It's very specific, uh, Mr. Chair. The uh, witness is being asked hypothetical questions. These are disallowed in the courts of law. If you're using the rules of court supplementarily, 
What is the purpose of asking hypothetical questions? Under our internal rules, uh, the rules of procedure governing the proceedings before the Committee on Good Government under Section 16, it provides that rules of procedure and evidence in any meeting of the committee, the rules of evidence prevailing in courts of law or equity shall not be controlling. And the committee shall use every and all reasonable means to ascertain the facts in each case spe speedily and objectively without regard to technicality of law or procedure. Yes, Mr. Chair, we're talking of facts. All in the intent. We're not talking about hypothetical situations here. We're not supposed to be getting facts out of, out of speculations. We cannot speculate on the questions that should be asked and answered. This will not benefit the committee, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Thank you. Noted, Congressman Margolet. Uh, Please Mr. continue Chair. with the... Mr. Chair. And then, dagdag lang po na response, Mr. Chair, since uh, always po ini-invoke na uh, kung ano yung dapat na conduct ng committee, ano yung bounds ng mga discussions natin. Uh, Mr. Chair, again, ang ginagawa po natin ay uh, in aid of legislation at hindi po tayo makakagawa ng mga batas, hindi natin maaral yung pwedeng maging mga batas kung hindi natin pag-uusapan yung mga posibleng scenarios kahit hindi pa nangyayari, Mr. Chair. We can't have good laws kung hindi natin pag-uusapan paano yan pwedeng ipatupad, paano yan pwedeng maabuso, which means yung nagiging uh, line of questioning na ating colleagues are essential to the conduct of our proceedings sa committee. Ilang, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mr. Chair, this is the problem of non-lawyers. They insist. They insist on something that should not be done. Noted, Thank Congressman you. Margoleta. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, Madam Vice President. Can I answer as head of agency of the oh, Office po, of Madam? the Vice President? Can I answer as head of the agency of the Office of the Vice President as well? With respect to the? To the comment, manifestation of uh, Congressman Marcoleta, sir. No, you are not uh, allowed. Please, please continue, Congresswoman Duisto. Ms. Acosta, ano po bang nararamdaman nyo? Of course, I'm concerned about you. Ano po yun? Uh, nanginginig po, ma'am. Bakit po kayo nanginginig? Bukod po sa nanginginig, ano pong nararamdaman nyo? Hindi naman po ako sumisigaw. Kasi po, wala po talaga akong alam kung sino po yun si Kukoy Bilyamin, si Grace Pato, Piatos po. Kasi po, Si Sir Lachika po ang nasa ground po. Siya po ang nagpipiperma. nag na lang po ako sa sinaol sa binalik niya sa akin na acknowledgement receipt po, ma'am. Pero ma'am, I hope you acknowledge na yun pong sinasabi niyong ginawa ni Colonel Lachika. Yun po'y trabaho niyo as a special disbursing officer. Yes, ma'am. Pero may utos po ang aking boss, ma'am, na i ko po Kay Sir Lachika, ma'am. I heard you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We will just proceed with the question. Tell me, pag hindi nyo na po kaya, I will stop. Ano po? You just answer from what you believe is true to yourself. Yes, ma'am. Punta po tayo kay Coco Villamin. Do you know this person? Wala po talaga akong alam, ma'am. Wala po kayong alam. Yes po, ma'am. Surname Villamin. May kilala po ba kay sa Davao na Villamin? Wala po akong alam, ma'am. Wala po akong kilala, ma'am. Okay. So you cannot answer with respect to the identity of this Kokoy Villamin. Mr. Chair, do we have the NBI here as well as the PSA? They are not yet here. Not yet here. But I believe that we have submitted the uh, acknowledgement receipt. In process. In process, though, po. Okay. Ms. Acosta, do you confirm that the 125 million for the last quarter of 2022 was utilized from December 21 to December 31, as is stated in the records? Yes, ma'am. Based po sa binigay sa akin ni Sir Lachika okay. na accomplishment report at saka acknowledgement receipt po. Ms. Acosta, 
This is 125 million spent in, I believe, 10 days nga po ito eh. Hindi 11 days. Kasi under the law, when we count, we exclude the first, we include the last. So if we count from December 21 to December 31, this will be equivalent to 10 days. Tanggalin po natin yung sinasabi ni Chairman Akop na holiday. Three days, in other words, pitong araw na lang po. Can you please enlighten us? Paano po kaya na ubos, na ibayad, na disburse ni Colonel Chica yung buong amount ng 125 million in seven days? Ma'am, hindi po ako makasagot niyan, ma'am, kasi hindi po ako ang naggastos in reality po, ma'am. Si Sir Lachica po ang may alam, ma'am. Ma'am, you've been the, you were the special disbursing officer of the vow from 2019 to 2022. And then you became the disbursing officer of the OVP. So kagaya po nang sabi nyo kanina, you have mastered already the process of utilization of confidential fund. Isang tanong lang po, posible po ba ito? Na ang 125 million ay magastos sa naloloban lamang ng pitong weekdays. Hindi ko po alam, ma'am. Kasi hindi po ako ang nag personal gastos Ms. po Acosta, sa pera, ma'am. The question is based on your experience as SDO. Sabi niyo po kanina, three years kayong naging SDO ng Confidential Fund and the Vow City. You even said you have mastered already the process of utilization. Ayon po ba sa karanasan ninyong yun? Yun po bang 125 million? Kaya po bang gastusin yun sa loob ng pitong weekdays, araw na may pasok lamang? Base po sa inyong karanasan, kaya po o hindi? Hindi ko yan masagot, ma'am. Kasi hindi po ako ang nag-disburse na 125 million, ma'am. Si Sir Lachica po, ma'am. Ms. Acosta, our question is based on your experience. Hindi po ganun ang, ang, ang confidential fund sa Dabao, ma'am. Hindi po ganun kalaki, ma'am. In other words, ayon po sa inyong karanasan bilang confidential fund ng Davao 2019 to 2022, hindi kaya gastusin ang 125 million in seven days. Tama po ba? Hindi po ako makasabing tama, ma'am, kasi hindi po ganyan ang confidential fund sa Davao, ma'am. Ma'am, the question is based on your experience. Kung ito po ba'y dadalhin natin doon sa sitwasyon nyo bilang SDO ng Davao, kaya po kaya yun? Hindi Gagastusin? Ko hindi ko masagot, ma'am. Okay. Now let us proceed to the certification. The Secretariat, please flash. May we know, Ms. Acosta, who prepared the certification? Secretary, please flash the document. May we know who prepared this certification, Ms. Acosta? Ako po, ma'am. Kayo po. You confirm the authorship of the signature above the name Gina F. Acosta sa inyo pong perma ito? Yes po, ma'am. Yes. And the document says, on the first paragraph, we certify that the amount of 125 million was incurred in connection with safe implementation of OVP initiatives and confidence building. Ms. Acosta, ano po ba yung confidence building? Yan po yung isa po yun sa programa ng OBP na, na kung paano po ma-implement ang isang programa na maayos po at safety po. Yun po ba ang ibig sabihin ng confidence building? Yan po ang pagkaalam ko, ma'am. Can you explain further? Pag sinabi po bang confidence building, ano po bang ibig sabihin nun? Is it 
synonymous to confidential confidential activities pares po ba iyon Pwede po mag-ask ako sa aking lawyer, ma'am. Yes po. Secretariat, can we provide a copy of the certification to Ms. Acosta? One minute suspension is declared by the chair. Sunod sa akin, pero pa po isa. 